hello there. Seems like nearly a month has gone past since I was in front of this camera. Where's it all gone? Wow, well, it's good to be back. <laughs> It's me, the Fallen835, also known as Robert, back for another Ramblings. Yes, it has been a while. It has been nearly two months. Um, two months for me that have been quite stressful. Um, a lot has happened, and I have a huge list here of stuff to talk about. Loads of things have happened and are coming up, so this Ramblings will probably be extra long today. Um, but before I begin... I have noticed that a certain other YouTuber, a very well-known YouTuber, Mr. Carlyle Prime, Dave, um, has taken up the name of Ramblings to use in his video, which is, which I find quite funny. It's it's great to see that other people are using it, um, as well as me. So yeah, it's cool. I just thought it was a nice thing to say. Um, so first off, I have to say, where have I been? Um, well, for the past month, if you don't already know, I have been doing examinations, A2 exams. They have been quite hard, a lot of revision and work has gone into them, and it's been a stressful, very stressful, and I'm just glad they're over now. Um, but I have to say thank you to everyone who has been very supportive over the past month. Uh, if you've just sent me a message online, or talked to me at all and said good luck, or how's it going, or well done, I have to thank everyone who's just said anything. Really, true friends, because you've given me the support to get through it, and now that it's over, I'm just glad. Very glad, so thank you very much. Uh, that was my first thank you in this video. There is going to be many, um, because I have a lot of people to thank. So, Iconic Reviews, because if you haven't already know, or if you haven't been listening to the podcast, I haven't been on it for a several weeks now, about four or five weeks, and if you don't already know, Jim and a group of several reviewers have been taking over to review Transformers Prime Prequel, uh, the comic that was a mini-series but nothing really came of it, and they have done a fantastic job, an absolutely fantastic job. I have to say thank you first of all to Jim for taking over and just making podcast material that's absolutely phenomenal. Thank you, mate. Um, very good sort of use take over, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you at AA. Um, secondly, we've had Steve, Stephen Thomas, back on the podcast, Tomo. Uh, again, Tomo, you're getting better and better each time you come on. You really are, mate. Um, have a bit of pride in yourself, because trust me, soon you'll be really, you'll be ace at podcasting. Um, so thank you to you. Dan, Daniel Marshall, who I've known from of Skype Sundays, he was on the podcast for the first time. Very good, very good. He's done podcasting before, I believe, on um, the Nerdsphere and other net podcasts, but very good, very insightful. And despite his lack of excitement, or pri what's the word, his love of Transformers Prime, he still talked about it as if he knew it and it was amazing so thank you for coming on and the final person is Stephen Walken, Walker N. Florgo and I hope I said that right because it's Stephen who I met at the London Meet last year very nice person again very good podcaster although I don't think Stephen's ever done podcasting before and it's just great because podcasting brings out the best of people sometimes and it's great to see the group that we had to review Transformers Prime prequel, interacting together. I would highly suggest you go and check it out because they're only short podcasts. They're about 30 minutes, I think, the longest one is. So it won't take up much of your time. Go and listen if you're a fan of Transformers Prime or if you've read the comic. Just It's, a, it's great listening. I would highly recommend it. So thank you, thank you very much. Uh, the final thank you for Iconic Reviews is this week, either today or tomorrow, because I'm filming it on a Saturday. I'm not sure. I think it's today. Uh, Jim and Raz, Razatron, um, will be reviewing Transformers uh, Spotlight Wheelie. Uh, because, obviously, I'm not going to be back this week. I'll be back next week. So, um, thank you for Raz for coming on. You have been 
continued support for the podcast and always it's a pleasure to talk to you on Skype Sundays and um, it's good to see you back on the YouTube, back doing videos. I hope your new series, this um, Raz Fiddles or Fiddler's Roost or I can't remember the name, but I hope it uh, takes off and I hope you do more because it's just good to see people coming back on YouTube that haven't been on for a while. Uh, I can talk, can't I? <laughs> but yeah, really good. And so that should be up either tomorrow or sometime next week. So go check it out. So what is to come on the, the uh, podcast? Because we are starting to build up to AA now. The running for AA, it's upon us. I'm getting excited now. Now that I can actually think about auto assembly. I, I'm quite excited. I know lots of people on YouTube are excited. Lots of people in the Transformers community are excited for it. And the podcast, for the next several months, we are going to be reviewing spotlights. So I believe next week is Six Shot. Um, I think it's Ultra Magnus. Then it's uh, Night Beats. And oh, another one, but I can't remember. So that will carry on for the next four to five weeks. And... Maybe we will start um, infiltration before auto assembly, although I'm not sure about that, and I'll let you know as near the time. Um, it may be that after AA, that's when we start infiltration, because that is a six issue series, and it's going to take a lot of time, effort, and frankly, energy to review it properly. So, well, I think we're going to leave that until after AA. But before. We're also going to have a um, special episode of the podcast devoted to AA, which is going to be aired before Auto Assembly. We're planning to have some guests on who's been to AA or who's their first time this year, plan to get their experiences, their views, their opinions of AA, and generally get it hyped up, ready for people. So if you're going to AA, you can listen to it, get yourself hyped up, ready for the actual event. Um, so that should be out a couple of weeks before the actual convention. Again, keep an eye on the groups on uh, my YouTube channel, on Jim's YouTube channel, for any updates about the podcast, because it's a busy time these next couple of months. Uh, a lot is happening. Yeah, it, it's going to be good. And also, auto-assembly and what we are doing at AA. Um, there are several things that the podcast is going to be doing at AA. I can't reveal them now. However, in a couple of weeks, there will be a special video either on this channel or Jim's channel in which we announce what we're planning to do at AA. But let's just say one of the things is going to be interactive. Um, what If you're at AA, if you're going to AA this year, and you like comics, then there may be an opportunity for you to, I don't know, maybe come on the podcast. But I'm not, I'm not going to say anything because there's a big announcement that is going to take place in several weeks. So again, look out for that. Busy time. Very, very busy. I know I keep saying that, but it is. It's a frantic time. A lot of stuff is happening. So yeah. Um, and that's it, really, for Iconic Reviews. After AA, we still don't know what's happening at the moment. Um, as I said, Infiltration most probably, and that'll take us all the way up to Christmas with Infiltration, Escalation, Stormbringer, Devastation, uh, and Revelations. All of those should take us up to around Christmas time. So, yes, lots of stuff happening in the podcast. It's going well, and I have to thank everyone for their continued support because um, it, it's doing well in terms of support, and without you lot supporting it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't take place. Um, me and Jim... We do it because we have a love of Transformers, a love of comics, but we also love to see your views and your opinions. And that's why we try and get as many people on the podcast as possible. People who haven't done podcasting before, or people who have. So it's just a great experience all round. And again, keep up the support. So next thing that's been happening. Uh, now, over the past month when I've been away, it hasn't just been revision and work, and exams and revision and work. Although mostly... Um, in my free time, I have been able to uh, look at some stuff, play some certain games, and one thing that I do want to mention, because I don't know if you already know, I am quite a fan of Star Trek. Well, I say I'm quite a fan, I say I, I would class myself as a Trekkie. Um, and I play Star Trek Online, the free MMO online game, which many of you probably know if you're up to date with Trek. Um, and they recently 
launched the first expansion pack, Legacy of Romulus. And I have been playing it over the past couple of weeks. It's cool. It's a very good expansion. I really love it. You get to play as Romulans. What is better than that? Um, Romulans, in my opinion, they're up there with the top the top um, enemies or aliens or races in Star Trek. Uh, I really do like them. And the stories are great. You have voice acting for several parts. Um, you have... The actress, and I can't remember her name, who played Natasha Yar, coming back to voice Empress Sela. So that's awesome. Uh, new missions, new PvP events, new PvE events, a um, whole load of new content, new ships, new level systems. It's, it's big, and it has improved the game, in my opinion. Um, and I look forward to see where it's going, because... They have, at the moment, released a certain amount of episodes, um, and I know the next update is coming very soon, so it'll be interesting to see how they move on from this huge expansion and what they do next, because that all depends. Sometimes games bring out a huge expansion and then fail to bring anything up afterwards. It just goes back down, and everyone seems to forget. Um, I hope that doesn't happen with Star Trek Online, but hey. So yeah, I play Star Trek Online, what can I say? It's a free MMO, I like it. <laughs> Please don't think bad of me. <laughs> I play games a lot. Um, also, several YouTubers that I mentioned previously have come back into the fray of doing videos again. We have Raz, who I mentioned earlier. We have uh, Dave Carlyle Prime doing videos again. Good to see. We have Ray, I Love Mess, back doing reviews. Brilliant as always. And we have Phil, Rattrap25, back to do some very cool videos, especially the top 10. Yeah, recently he's done some top 10 Transformers that he loves and he hates. And very good videos. If you want to get an insight into the person, into himself, go and watch them. Um, if you want to get an insight into the actual figures, go and watch them. They're very interesting. Lots of information about the individual figures and how why they're ranked in these positions. So I would definitely meant But it's good to see huge amounts of YouTubers back on YouTube. Um, it shows that people haven't gone for good and that, yeah, the Transformers community is still going and the hype for Transformers is still going. Um, oh, I mean, the hype for it is slowly like increasing until the 30th anniversary next year, but I've already talked about that to death, so I'm not going to go there. So, next thing to talk about, and I've already mentioned this, Auto assembly! Auto assembly! Oh my goodness, 2013. It's it's slowly upon us. I think it's something like eight or nine weeks to go. It's just ridiculous. Um, I know a lot of people is going to be there. I'm going to be there. I've got all my tickets and all my hotels booked and everything's done, so I'm definitely going to be there. It is going to be a freaking awesome time. Loads of people just having fun, meeting great people, um, Plastic crack, as always, great guests, and just relaxing and enjoying yourself because that's what auto assembly is about. Um, and for me, socializing as well, because face it, I don't have a great social life, so yeah. Um, however, on the run up to auto assembly, like last year, I will be making an auto assembly video six weeks beforehand saying about how I'm going to be going there what the sorts of things I'm looking forward to, what my fears. A bit like last year's Hopes and Fears video, and I don't know who started the trend, but lots of people seem to uh, make video responses for that. So hopefully something along those lines. Uh, it's not going to be like last year where I was sat over there, or the camera was over there and I was just standing here, Hello, this is me, what should I look like? Um, yeah, it's not going to be like that, I promise. But that it will take place six weeks beforehand and following it each week I will be making a review a sort of countdown to the actual convention I will be reviewing stuff that I brought last year I will be um, showing off footage that I took last year there's not much it'll probably be one week where I show the footage off and the other weeks will be the reviews but I've got a lot of Armada stuff to review uh, some Cybertron stuff um, what else? Some universe stuff, and some just just generally a couple of good things that I haven't got round to reviewing yet. Um, it won't include everything because some things 
I think they deserve a quite big review which would take me a long time to make so it's only going to be the figures that yes they're good but they're not in terms of big um, so look forward to that so next it's coming to one of the final things to talk about today and sometime soon maybe next week maybe the week after um, Jim and I will be making a video together we will be making a review together of uh, animated Megatron the Cybertronian one not the leader class because I don't have that Jim has it which I'm very jealous of and I'm sure quite a few of you have it you bastards out there who have animated Megatron I'm kidding I'm kidding um, but yeah we will be doing a joint review using Google Plus and Google Hangout and we're going to try and work that out so that will be something to look forward to um, it's going to be uploaded to this channel um, because we can't upload it to both channels which we would have liked but because of the way Google Hangout works it can only be uploaded to one person's channel that sucks I know but that's the way Google works there's nothing we can do about it and hopefully if it goes well then we should do more reviews like that in the future more joint reviews because it would be awesome it's a way of getting Transformers reviewers together, uh, bringing the community together a bit more on YouTube, and it's, I'm really looking forward to it. It's an experiment into the unknown, but it should work. Um, so yeah, I look forward to it. So that, as I said, that'll be out in the next couple of weeks. Next thing, um, reviews, because what's going to happen with videos on YouTube for the next weeks because I did say that um, six weeks before A there's going to be my countdown but that does leave several weeks beforehand of what's happening well reviews are going to continue as normal they're going to go back to the way they were with me talking a um, bit like a rambles but try not to edit try not to like make them too rambling like this video is um, I will also be venturing back into the world of stop motion I feel that because of my long hiatus off of stop motion, my skills have decreased slightly, and I can't. Uh, the last stop motion I did was bad. It was really bad. Um, it was there was no transformation in it. It was just poorly done. It was quickly done. No. Um, so I'm going to be doing a couple of stop motion transformation videos to hopefully get me back into the swing of transforming and stop motions and generally animation in general um, and that also ties in with something that I will I have purchased and ordered but I'll talk about that in the haul in a bit um, so you'll have the reviews, you'll have the stop motions um, I, you're also going to have if I can make it to work each Friday preferably in the evening because that's probably when I'll be free because there's a lot of stuff happening in my life personally in the next month that will yeah, push stuff back. But hopefully every Friday from next week, I will create a unedited review. So what do I mean by that? Well, I have a webcam which hasn't been used in years. In fact, it hasn't been used since I brought it. I think it's been used once in a Skype video chat. And I plan to use the webcam to make reviews with. However, because I have to record the webcam via Google Plus, I can't um, edit it, so it is going to be purely unedited. It'll be a bit like this, but slightly more ramblings, uh, and I need to test the video quality, so it'll also be a test to see about that. But I'll basically be reviewing figures that I feel shouldn't get a huge review. They don't need that much. Figures that personally you can try and avoid, or figures that if you see, maybe you should pick them up, but don't go hunting for them. So that hopefully that will become a current thing on the channel because some weeks I may not be able to do reviews, but I will be able to do the Fridays unedited reviews. So again, that will be quite cool. Um, interesting to see how it goes because obviously using Google Hangout and Google Plus, it will be live, which means you guys will be able to watch the review as I'm doing it. And hopefully, I don't know if it's like, um, Ustream or any of these others but they've got a sort of text thing uh, hopefully you'll be able to type in and I'll be able to see it and answer your questions as I'm doing the review um, so that should be fun hopefully if it doesn't go completely utterly wrong 
which I imagine it shall, knowing me, hey ho. So, the last thing to talk about before the haul, because I have a quite fairly big haul today. There's one item that's really big, and I'm, I'm just looking at it now, and it's, oh, it's lovely, but before I get onto that, um, several weeks ago, I went to London. Um, actually, was it last week, or the week before, the weekend? Several weeks ago. Um, basically went up there to see a show, uh, to see Spamalot, the Monty Python's, um, as they call it, the rip-off of the Holy Grail. It was brilliant. It was a very nice show. It was a matinee, so we saw it in the afternoon. Really funny. I highly recommend if you have the money or if you have the means to go to London or uh, wherever it's being shown, go and watch it. It's very, if you like Monty Python, if you like that sense of humour, because some people like Monty Python's humour, some people don't. It's understandable. Different tastes for different folks. Well, that's not even the phrase, is it? Who cares? But yeah, really funny. And um, one of the actresses in there was the past played Mel in Doctor Who. And if you're a Doctor Who fan, um, you'll be like, oh my goodness. And yet I fail to remember the name. Um, yeah, Bonnie Tyne? No. It, well, anyway, she was in there. Um, she played a role and it was quite funny. I won't spoil too much if you will go and see it, but um, they included lots of stuff, not only from Holy Grail, but from other films and other TV series such as The Flying Circus. They had a couple of sketches from that. So overall, it was a very cool day. But as well as going to see the show, we also went to the London Film Museum. Now, if you don't know where it's located, um, you know where the London Eye is? Well, basically, County Hall, which is a huge building next to it, has, um, I think it's the London Dungeons in the Aquarium, and it also has the Film Museum. And the Film Museum is set out on one huge floor, and there's it, rooms going off in different areas. They have loads of props, huge amounts of props. They had the Alien Queen from Alien 2, they had the Facehugger, they had a couple of Daleks, they had a TARDIS, they had the Klingons... A chair from un, not Undiscovered Country, Final Frontier. They had uh, a Boba Fett, the one of the original Boba Fett outfits, the Stormtroopers outfits, uh, some of the original uh, models of the ships in Star Wars used. They had a some sort of mock setup of the Tavin Four. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, from um, New Hope, uh, which you could take a picture for, but obviously you had to pay for that. Um, they had uh, the T Rex from Night at the Museum. They had uh, Highlander, the outfit he wore when he was in Scotland. Uh, they had so much stuff. Uh, they had Batman costume from Batman Begins, the actual proper one. And they also had the Superman costume from the latest, not Man of Steel, but the one before that. Uh, the crap one. It's a crap reboot. I can't remember what it's called. There's a crap Superman film that came out in like the 2000s. I don't know. I'm not a Superman fan. Um... Um, they they just had so much stuff and I did take pictures and I will try to upload the pictures either make a video on YouTube or put them onto some of my sort of social networks uh, and of course if you know me you know that they're where to find me etc um, so that's good because there's a, quite a few people who want to see them and I want to see how they turned out really because the lighting there was yeah, it was alright but the biggest um, sort of excitement and Wow, joy for that day was going to Orbital Comics. Now, if you remember way back last year when I was talking about the uh, London Meet, you'll know that I went there as part of the day. And I went back, and it was just as good as I remember it. They had so much stuff. If you're, and I'd said this to Jim, if you're a Beast Wars fan and you like inbox beasts, they had loads of them. They had loads of vintage Transformers. They had a Generation 1 Rotorstorm for five quid, and I was so tempted to buy it. So tempted. But I got something else, which was a bit more expensive. Um, they had the Encore Fort Max for 300 quid. 300 pounds. Yeah, 300 pounds. It's ridiculous. Um, of course, they had loads of comics, loads of graphic novels. And it was just great to go back there. It brought back so many memories, and it was great to see all the different comics that have come out because frankly I haven't been at, up to date with comics at all. I have been failing behind it and I have a huge pile here of comics to read which I'll start today 
and we'll just keep reading them over the next couple of weeks. Um, and so it's nice to go in there and see and have a look at what comics have been out, especially issue, I think it's 17 of R.I.D., the one with Shockwave on the cover. Oh, lovely, lovely artwork by Livio Ramadelli. Lovely. Um, yeah, and so that is it. Now, onto my haul, because the haul is large and I'm just looking at my clock because hopefully I won't run out of time before the battery fails on this camera. So, to start off with, uh, it was my birthday in May, if you didn't already know. I'm 18 now. Yes, I'm one year older. Yeah, it doesn't really show, does it? Everyone says, oh, when you get to 18, it's going to feel really different. No, it doesn't. It's just a normal day, really. Except I got all this cool shit. So, yeah. Um, the first thing that I got, which it, you probably won't be interested in, but for me, it's good. Because if you've been listening to the podcast at all, you'll probably hear that my mic has been slowly dying. Uh, so, I got a new mic. Yeah, it, I got a new one. Um, apparently, it's good. It's basically the old one, but the next sort of... So the next um, quality up. Uh, I haven't opened it out of the packaging because I'm trying to m get the use of the old one until it dies, basically. So when I come back into the podcast next week, I should be using this. So my voice should be clear and it should sound good. Uh, the next thing that I got, and the biggest thing that I got for my birthday, it is a Transformer. It's one that I have been meaning to get ooh, ever since I got into Prime, which is, if you know me, about a month ago. Uh, it's this. Transformers Prime uh, Voyager, or whatever they call them nowadays, Powerizers, or, yeah, uh, Ultra Magnus. Not, not the Beast Hunters Ultra Magnus, not that thing, the proper one, the one that actually looks like it's supposed to be a wrecker. Um, although I definitely will review this. This will be one of the reviews that's coming in the next couple of weeks. Um, I really love the look of this Ultra Magnus. Um, and I'll explain that why in my review, so look forward to that. Next, I have been also buying several DVDs, or should I say, um, re-buying DVDs, which I used to have on video. And obviously you'll know that I'm a big Trekkie, I've said that before. And so I love DS9. Deep Space Nine is my favourite season of Star Trek, and so I have all of DS9 on DVD apart from season 6 and 7. So over the past couple of weeks I went out and brought season 6 and season 7. Uh, I've watched all of season 6 and I'm halfway through season 7. Uh, it's good to watch these episodes that you used to watch as a kid and go, oh, I remember that one, that's so cool, I used to remember that. It's just nice to uh, reminisce of old times. God, I sound like such an old git, don't I? So, second to last item that I will show you today is what I brought in all to comics and for any of you comic fans, for any of you fans who like Generation 1 Marvel you'll be proud you will be very proud and very dusty it is none other than the Transformers Classics Volume 1 oh yes 18 quid but I don't care because just looking at it now it looks oh, it looks so good it looks so good and it smells nice as well, you know, getting the smell of new comics, this is what it smells like. But yeah, uh, so I now am getting into Generation 1 Marvel Comics, which is all good, it's all good. So um, I should be reading that soon, and then hopefully I want to get the other issues, the other uh, volumes, because I want to try and get as much of the Generation 1 Marvel read as possible, so that when it comes to reviewing IDW, um, I can link back and compare and etc. And it does enhance your viewing of a comic. So, the final thing, because I did get some magazines but they're not important, the final thing, the big thing that came, and I'm going to have to turn the camera around for this, is none other than this. Uh, the Star Trek Diamond Select USS Enterprise D N1701 from All Good Things. Yep, that is right. It is um, if you don't know Next Generation, their last ever episode was entitled All Good Things. And basically in it, Picard sort of travelled throughout time thanks to Q. And in one of the times he went to was the future. And he was an old man and Riker was in command of the Enterprise, which was at war with the Klingons. And so was decked out in all of this extra armour, which you can see here. And so Diamond Select did a toy of it. Um, there's a box, by the way. It's huge. This thing is huge. Uh, there's a okay. There's cup. 
Uh, there's the Enterprise. Quite big, yeah. But, as I was saying, yeah, the Enterprise was turned into a dreadnought in order to take down Klingon ships, which it did with little haste. Um, and when I saw that they did a model and saw that it was on Amazon, I had to get it. Um, I really did. Now, half of this, I only paid, I think, £30 for it because I sort of split it in half with um, my parents who... This was sort of a late birthday present. Um, but overall, in general, and someone's going to kill me for this, but it cost, I think, £80. 80 quid. Um, which is a lot, yes, it's a lot, but... If you're quite a huge fan of Star Trek like me, then it's worth it. Um, again, you see that this is the second release because it doesn't have the, um, what's it called, the badge of Starfleet on any of the warp cells, and the guns are painted on. But it's very nice. There's only one problem, and I might need your help with this. If you have this, or if you know of anyone who does, I cannot open this section here which is where the batteries are and is where the switch is to turn it on to play mode which is where you get all the sounds because at the moment it only says one sound um, but I can't open that and the reason is this uh, photon torpedo launcher here it's an add-on the original version of this mold didn't have it and you could push this off easily but because this is on when you apply when you apply pressure to the actual um, plate it feels like you're going to snap this bit off because it's only glued on there so i'm really not sure about that um so if you've got any advice by all means go ahead um and help but that has been it that has been my ramblings i hope you've enjoyed it and it's good to be back on the youtube um next video will be out next week or maybe tomorrow or whenever i feel like doing a video because i have all the time in the world now so thank you for tuning in um it's just good. It's good to be back. I know I keep saying that, but it is. So until next video, I will see you guys. Goodbye, everyone. See ya.